So after Terrence Bud Crawford shook the entire boxing world with his spectacular performance against Errol Spence, talks immediately began of a dream fight between Crawford and Javante due to the fact Javante said Crawford has a glass jaw and he will knock him out at 147. Since then, Crawford has accepted the challenge and even dared Tank to do so. Now, Javante got into all of this mess with Crawford when he was asked about his prediction for the Errol Spence fight. Interestingly enough, when Errol Spence was asked about this dream fight between Javante and Crawford, Errol Spence said he got Tank against Crawford because if Javante connects, he could knock anybody out. Now, Errol Spence said this before he even fought Crawford himself. Here is exactly what Errol Spence had to say. Check it out. Javante Davis says he knocks out Crawford in six. Crawford said, oh, they're weight classes. What do you think happens in that fight? Tank against Crawford. Oh, that's a good fight. Uh, tank and hit. Tank got that type of power. He can knock anybody out of catch a clean. So, uh, no, I think, I think it'd be a, a good-ass fight. You know, so, you know I, I rock with dog Tank on that one anyway. I'm going to leave a link for the full interview in the description box below. This is what Errol Spence had to say before he fought Crawford. However, I'm pretty sure after Errol Spence fought Crawford, he completely changed his mind. Even Javante is not picking Tank against Crawford at this point. Crawford looked so special against Errol Spence to the point he changed the whole landscape of the entire sport as he graduated from the discussions of being pound for pound number one to being arguably the pound for pound GOAT. So forget about Errol Spence, I'm pretty sure even Tank doesn't have Tank over Crawford at this point. However, listening to what Errol Spence had to say leading up to the Crawford fight, you can't help but to wonder, did Errol Spence underestimate Crawford? There were things Errol Spence said that made me question his confidence leading up to the fight. And there were other things Errol Spence said leading up to the Crawford fight that made it seem like he was underestimating Crawford. Now, when it came to Errol Spence's comments toward Crawford that made me question his confidence, Errol Spence did come off like he was concerned. Contrary to that, whenever Errol Spence came off like he was underestimating Crawford, that was more so Errol Spence talking trash than anything. Only one thing for sure and two things for certain, if Errol Spence underestimated Crawford or he didn't, that wouldn't have changed the outcome because Crawford just happened to be on another level as he is on that same level as Floyd Mayweather, Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Leonard, and Roy Jones. That's how good Crawford is. He will be mentioned with the same breath as those guys. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and to be continued on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I got, a, I got a question for you, Tank. At, at 147, how does uh, a fight with you and Terrence Crawford look? Damn. 147? 147. Kid, I tapped that chin. You know he going to sleep. I already know. I already, I already know, know he, he is. He ain't got no chance. I already know he is. <laughs> Said no chance. <laughs> I, hey, I got round five. Yeah, I got round six. Earl Spencer, Bud Crawford. Earl. He <laughs> <laughs> can't go against his boy. He, he doing what he's supposed to be doing. I respect no, that. No, I, ain't, I know for sure. I know for <laughs> sure. I like, I like, I'm going with Bud. Ain't why. I think he's wild. I think no, we we rapping. Me and the champ rap. I just think that, you know, Earl just he hadn't been in front of nobody with with the tools that Bud got. I think Bud can give him a little bit more problem than a lot of guys standing in front of him with bricks in their shoes. I think Bud ain't gonna stand there and it wouldn't behoove him or be smart. To stand there and try to trade with Earl, he would have to box Earl. All right, but now you see how you say that, right? Okay, imagine, imagine, imagine we in a let's just say we in a gunfight, right? Yeah. And I got a metal shield, and 
and the opposite person got a glass shell. <laughs> okay, Chad. Who come out? Who gonna come out on top? The guy with the metal shield. Okay. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but how much he run around once them once them hands get on him, it's gonna slow him down. And once oh, yeah, definitely if he touch him, he he definitely if he touch him clean, he'll break him down. There ain't no if. He gonna touch him. He gonna touch him. And that's what we're gonna see what he what he made of. That's what we're gonna see his resolve and what he's really made of. That'll answer all the questions I need to know who the dominance at 147. If he touch and break that shield and Bud can't stand up to that, gotta let me know all respect. I gotta I gotta give it to him. I ain't gonna lie, if somebody if, if he felt like he was gonna win the fight, he would have he would have took he would have took this offer that he got he they gave him. Oh yeah, definitely after the uh, second round when I heard him, I felt as if he couldn't handle my power like I can handle his. I remember him <clears throat> throwing a overhand loop and left and he caught me right on the button. I think it was the first or the second round. And you know, I was just like, this is it? I was like, oh, okay. You know, it's gonna be a long night for him.